God has a way of communicating his plans and purpose to us. We may not understand it, but the good thing is that he won't leave us in that confusion. He will always send us a message, an interpretation, a confirmatory word to help us understand what he's been trying to say to us. Love is a beautiful thing when it's with the right person. When you fall in love with the right person, you don't want the world to end. And for some people, they want to fall in love and take things to the next level, but they don't know whether it's the will of God or not. If you were currently finding yourself thinking about someone continuously and they make you happy, but you want to know if it's God's will or not, if it's God that's speaking to you or not, I want to give you four definite reasons why you can't stop thinking about someone or perhaps someone is thinking about you or why God may be placing a particular person your way. But if you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and help us promote the gospel of Christ. Number 1. God has an ultimate plan. Before you were born, He knew you and He ordained you to be someone. You can control who you fall in love with. But when God is involved and He wants to pass a message, he will make sure that that person's name continues to ring a bell in your heart. If you find yourself finding it so difficult to stop thinking about someone, God may be trying to draw your attention to something that you are unintentionally ignoring. When you find yourself constantly having a romantic or even non-romantic thought, God is trying to pass a message to you. He's trying to communicate something to you. In the case of a romantic relationship, if you have prayed or even tried to stop thinking about that person, you've gone on other dates with other people just so that you forget about the other person, but you can't stop thinking about them then maybe God is pointing your future partner to you. If God wants something, he will induce it. If God wants a relationship, he knows how to induce it. And one of the ways is to give you a thought that you won't be able to resist or stop thinking about. Bringing the thought is different from accepting the person. God will not force you to accept a person. He will give you options and watch how you choose. He gives us certain clues to right choices, but oftentimes we may find ourselves still far from the right choice. God makes sure that he tries to send us the right signals. Learn to follow the signals of God. You might not understand why God is putting the thought but he has a plan that he has to fulfill with that person. What exactly is that purpose God is trying to fulfill? That includes fulfilling your godly assignment on earth and making a godly home and increasing the kingdom of God. Number two, because of your own purpose here on earth, God will put a thought, a person in your heart. He wants you to fulfill your purpose, but you need a helper just like Adam needed one. You must understand that as humans, we need help at every phase of our lives. God has seen that you will need a companion in future. And so he tries to put those thoughts so that you can take things to the next level and be able to carry out your purpose. If you understand the power of two, then you understand that there are certain things you cannot do on your own. 
A partner will help you understand your purpose, but not just understand it, also fulfill your purpose. You will notice that even with Moses, Aaron could not fulfill his purpose without Moses. And so also, we see in the case of Isaac and Rebekah, and how Isaac wasn't able to progress and fulfill all that God has planned for him until he had a companion. You must get this truth that there are certain things and levels in life you cannot fulfill alone. You will need someone by your side. And that is why God has been placing that thought in your heart. Number three, to guide you to the right path. God wants us to not make mistakes that are entirely costly to our lives and destiny. You see, God knows that you will have other wrong desires. And as a result of this, He also saves us from the wrong desires by putting His own desires in our heart. If you are wondering how you will differentiate the desires, then know that God's desires doesn't go or reduce even after you have prayed about it. You cannot bind and cast the desires of God in your heart. So if God is allowing you to have constant thoughts towards someone, then know that it's because he wants to guide you from making costly mistakes that would take you time to correct. So stop ignoring those choices and allow the will of God to prevail. You should know that God is concerned about your love life and he wants you to end up with that person. If God is guiding you, then you can be rest assured that you won't be able to make the wrong choice. Number four, God is keeping that thought because your decision is not just for you, but for the people you will be sent to. Every Christian has an assignment to some people somewhere, which God has already predestined. And so, you must make the right choice, not just for you, but for the people around your life. God wants to use you to be a blessing to others. If you don't follow the leading of God and you continue to ignore His voice, you will not just be affected, but also the many people that are supposed to benefit from your union will also be affected. If you want to know why those thoughts keep coming, then you must understand that apart from your own need of having someone, God also has given you someone that can help you meet not just your needs, but the needs of others around you. Think about the people around you that need help. Think about the exemplary message that God will use your union to pass across to other people around you. When it comes to certain decisions like this, of course you may want to not just consider yourself. Of course that is important. But there is something bigger than you and that is your assignment to people. God is making you think about that person so that together you will be able to achieve more for his kingdom. God has an agenda. And your union is also part of the agenda. More people can gain salvation and benefit from the union God is trying to create. So I advise you to listen to God.